Good morning students today we will discuss about the dance scene in Australia let's see what we can discuss modern dance is about an awakening of greater consciousness in our humanity art is a creative process in order for an artist to produce work of value they must go through that process art is hopefully a sharing on a universal level a sharing in our humanity this is what elizabeth cameron dalman has said in australia contemporary dance has its origins in modern dance taught and promoted through the Australian Dance Theatre situated in Adelaide and founded by Elizabeth Cameron Dalman in 1965. Elizabeth got her training from Margaret Morris who was a proponent of Isadora Duncan. She also worked with Martha Graham, Murray Lewis, Alvin Nicolais and Kurt Jews. Contemporary dance in Australia is lesser rigid in its structure and grew as a result of rigidity prevailing in the techniques of ballet. Yet we find that contemporary dance go hand in hand with the first wave of ballet in Australia. Both depend on teamwork with musicians, visual artists and photographers with the aim of coming up with a new and refreshing medium. The first contemporary dance movement was observed in Australia from around 1970s. We find dance companies experimenting with contemporary dance were inspired from the modern dance movement and innovated on movements that executed lines of energy. Carol Johnson started teaching contemporary dance in Sydney from 1974. Originally from America, Carol discovered the prosperity of the indigenous dance in Australia. A dance teacher, arts administrator and activist, Carol joined as a principal with the Elio Pomare Dance Company in 1972. For over 35 years, she has worked with the Australian Indigenous people as founding director of the National Aboriginal and Islander Skills Development Association. Carol shaped a vision that enabled young urban Aboriginal and Islander people to learn their inheritance, getting ready for workable careers in dance. In 1988, Carol established Bangara Dance Theatre Australia, the first independent Aboriginal and Islander dance company. One of the foremost Australian contemporary dancers is Meryl Tankard. She is one of Australia's best contemporary dancers. She initiated her dance career with the company, the Australian Ballet. Then three years later, she left the company and joined Pina Bausch's company, the dance theatre, Wuppertal. Tankard was engaged with the company as the primary solo dancer for 10 years. As the same time, she gave some of her time for Australia too. In 1986, Meryl choreographed Travelling Light. In 1988, she created her solo work Two Feet. This composition was inspired from the life of Olga Specif Zefa. Olga was a renowned artist who integrated works of photographer and visual artist Regis Lansac. Olga toured Australia in 1934 with her production and made a distinct impact. 
Tankard settled in Australia in 1989 and established the Merrill Tankard Company in Canberra. This existed till 1992. In 1993, she joined the Australian Dance Theatre and was the director till 1999. The Australian Dance Theatre was now renamed the Merrill Tankard Australian Dance Theatre. This company now worked as a vibrant, multi-talented agency for new choreographies and development of Australian dance genre. She re-choreographed many of her works like Chance D. Marriage of 1992. She also produced a sequence of original works that included Furioso in 1993, Aurora 1994, Possessed 1995, Rasa 1996, Seoul 1997 and Inuk 1997. Tanker's most important choreography, Furioso, characterizes her product with specialities of touchy, often poetic and even harsh production of intense choreographic design. The choreography of another Australian dance personality, Russell Dumas, exhibits movement as a self-determining art form. A great deal of it is executed in silence. There were eyebrows raised at this attitude, but it offered a new perspective to dance. Russell started his career with the W.C. Williamson organization. He then hopped from one company to another, performing with these organizations. He was also a part of the Ballet Rambert, an English company which came to Australia in 1947 to 1949. In 1976, Russell established the Sydney-based institution Dance Exchange with Nanette Hassel. In 1985, he also established the Dance Link program. This program had an immense prospect for dance teachers and artists in Australia. Sydney Dance Company was established in 1969 by dancer Suzanne Mutsids. From 1976 to 2007, it was led by artistic director Graham Murphy his wife and associate director Janet Vernon. Sydney Dance is now run by Raphael Bonachela, who describes himself as a movement junkie with the exploration and experimentation of pure movement as his motivation. In 1980s, a new trend in Australian dance was visible. Two companies Buzz Dance and Legs on the Wall attempted newer directions involving physical explorations. They blended contemporary dance with abstract ideas with theater elements, acrobatics. These productions often had projected images, video and lighting effects. Such effects in dance were widely used. Artistic director Patrick Nolan created Legs on the Wall in Sydney in 1984. The company merged theatre, dance and circus acrobatics. The company is very popular internationally as it has toured Europe, Asia and North and South America. Buzz Dance Theatre was established in Perth in 1985. It was founded by Derek Holzinger. He was a dancer and worked through this company. His efforts were so successful that it is still running today under artistic director Caddy McCarthy. Its work includes developing theatre for children. In this contemporary dance, music and theatre are used. There are even attempts to encourage audience participation. Earlier, a company named Tass Dance was founded in 1981 in Launceston. It was Australia's first dance in education company. It was under the artistic direction of Jenny Kinder. Tass Dance had exclusive programs in community work apart from its theatre-based activities and dancer development initiatives. 
The company has a national profile and received a Sydney Meyer Performing Arts Award in 2008. Annie Gregg also served as the artistic director of Tass Dance. In 1983, Nanit Hassal founded Danceworks. It helped to provide an arena for the production of Australian choreography by promising young Australian dancers. When Hassal left the company in 1989, the dancers Beth Shelton and Helen Herbertson together shared the directorship from 1989 to 1991. The productions had a strong community focus. Dance works closed down in mid-2006. This company has carved a nick in the history of Australian dance. The company Dance North is situated in Townsville. It developed into a professional company under the leadership of Cheryl Stock. She took up the directorship from 1985 to 1995. In 1997, Jane Pirani was selected and she became the fourth artistic director to lead the company for eight years. The company now toured to Japan, China and around Australia. It continued to tour nationally and internationally and holds community outreach and cultural exchange programs with countries in the Southeast Asian region. At present, the artistic director is Raven Hill. Maggie Sitzma and Abel Vals established Expressions Dance Company in 1984 at Wisbane. Natalie Weyer was chosen as the artistic director in 2009. The choreographies of expressions show a mixture of abstract ideas. It also stressed on theatrical elements where speech, dance and visual media had their own but comprehensive roles to play. The company toured across the United States, Europe, Mexico, New Caledonia and Asia. Expressions were selected for the Outstanding Performance category at the 2010 Dance Awards. One of Australia's most significant artistic directors and creative thinker was Chrissy Parrott. She combined classical and contemporary dance in his presentations. Chrissy Parrott's dance career was initiated when she joined the West Australian Ballet in the 1970s with her first choreographic work completed in 1976 and her first well thought out piece in 1978. After this she went overseas. The Chrissy Parrott Dance Company was established in 1986. Parrott collaborated with composer Jonathan Mustard on Meta Dance in Resonant Light. This choreography had a successful blend of dance, music and images. Occasionally, it had projected dancers, video and lighting effects to support participation of audience. Parrot has choreographed more than 100 works around the world. These include commissions from WA Ballet, Australian Dance Theatre, Sydney Theatre Company and Dance Form in Germany. Parrot also co-founded the WA Academy of Performing Arts graduate company Link Dance in 2003. The National Aboriginal and Islander Skills Development Association established in 1988 by Carol Johnson trained indigenous people into professional dancers. Two more companies were formed following this. They are Bangara Dance Theatre in 1989 and Islander Dance Theatre in 1992. All these companies had their directors from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander dancers. Stephen Page became the artistic director of Bangara Dance Theatre in 1991. He was considered to be a path-breaking choreographer of Australian dance. Stephen has created many works like Fire, Ninni, Dreamy, Clan, Ocker, Spirit, Bush, 
playing mantis and Mathinna. He choreographed for Atlanta Olympic ceremony in 1996. In 2009, Helpman Awards, Mathinna won Best Ballet or Dance Work, Best Choreography in a Dance or Physical Theatre Production and Best Original Score. Stephen Page's works have both classical and modern elements but have mostly been about understanding dance from a unique urban indigenous perspective. While Bangara sustained the cultural and spiritual values of the Aboriginals and Torres Straits Islander ceremony and performance, it presents dance that is imaginatively original. One of Australia's youth dance company is Restless Dance Company in Adelaide. The artistic director is Michelle Rian. It is one of the Australia's foremost youth dance companies. Since 1991, it has worked with people to produce dance theatres and organise workshop programmes for the participants with a disability. Australian Choreographic Ensemble founded by Paul Mercurio, has the dimension of film attached to the contemporary dance. This worked between 1992 and 1998. Mercurio is famous for his leading roles in the film Strictly Ballroom and Dancing with the Stars. But Mercurio is also well known as a contemporary choreographer. Australian Choreographic Ensemble performed in cities and regional centres. Its performance venues varied from proscenium spaces to historic houses and outdoor areas. In 1993, Leigh Warren and Dancers was established by the choreographer Leigh Warren. He was the artistic director of the troupe. His choreographies had elements of music, movements and technologies that gave visual effects. He was honoured with Adelaide Critics Circle Award in 2005 and Ruby Award for Sustained Contribution by an Individual in 2007. In 1995, the group Chunky Move was initiated by the choreographer Gideon Obar Zanek and Gary Stewart in South Bank, Melbourne. There was a need for a place for young choreographers to work freely in an environment that did not remain to a specific dance form. It included installations, site-specific work and film in their repertoire. Chunky Move's present artistic director, Anouk Van Jik, is a choreographer, dancer, artistic director and the creator behind the movement system, Counter Technique. Natalie Weir, an Australian choreographer, had taken training in classical ballet under Anne Roberts. But she could not satisfy herself in this training since the classical dance seemed to her as too rigid and restrictive. This would not give any space for creativity. She even commented all classical dance is inhuman in a way. She started contemporary choreography and engaged herself in dance, north and expressions. Padma Menon is from India, settled in Australia. She teamed up with Meryl Tankard in 1996 on Rasa, a word directly related to Indian arts. Menon began her dance training in Hyderabad in 1973. Then she learned Kuchipuri from Vempati Chinna Satyam. After moving to Canberra in 1988, Menon established a school of Indian dance known as Kailash Dance Company. She moved to Sydney in 1998 and opened the school at, as Mudra Dance. Menon has also learned postmodern technique in Sydney with Russell Dumas. She took training in theatre directing and Bhutto with Nigel Kelaway. In 2008, Menon came to Cal Canberra and established the Mudra Centre for Dance here also. Cage in North 
Melbourne was founded by its artistic directors Gerard Van Dyck and Kate Denborough in 1997. According to them, Cage strives to create work that's felt as often as it's explained. Technically rigorous and visually striking dance theatre becomes a platform for work about the subtlety of experience, about the millions of gigantic yet tiny, deeply felt funny and ultimately connected moments that make up our lives, success, failure, awkwardness, panic tears and reckless joy. The work of Cage is to render these and other human things physical. The Physical TV Company was established in 1997 by Richard James Allen. The artistic directors Richard James Allen and Karen Perlman used the body to narrate stories. This company makes film and video and present works based on dance, film, literature and new media, producing exclusive amalgamation of screen and dance arts. These recognized and award-winning works were put on telecast in Australia, Europe, China and the USA. These were also screened at many national and international film and dance festivals. An integration of Chinese an Australian culture is seen when two young Chinese directors, Sun Ping and Tina Yong, established Yu Lin Dance Theatre in 1997. In this, a cross-cultural contemporary dance is created to depict a story. In this, live music and video inclusions garnished the productions. These artists often interacted with school children and taught them Chinese classical and folk dances. They also encouraged them to make dances on culture, race and identity. Another company who utilized multimedia dance theater installation, videos, films and many other accessories for choreography was Igneous formed in 1997. It is collaboration between James Cunningham and Suzanne Fox. They even put importance to interaction with other artists. It has toured Australia, India, Belgium, France, Germany, Canada and the UK. Ballet Lab in South Bank, Melbourne is one more company that merges the visual impact of the movement with stimulating abstract similes and planning. This company was launched in 1998 and run a house full show on the first day. The company performs nationally and internationally including China, Scotland, Germany, England, Korea, Mongolia, Romania, Bulgaria and the US. In the 21st century, Australian modern dance moved into a phase of multidisciplinary techniques and collaborative innovations. The founder of modern dance in Australia, Elizabeth Cameron Dalman, became the director choreographer of Miramu Dance Company since 2002 in Bangendore. Vivian Rig Rogis assisted Dalman. This company choreographs both traditional and contemporary presentations. In 2002, Lucy Guerin Inc. was founded by Lucy Guerin. She associated herself with Chunky Move, Michael Cantor and Melbourne Symphony Orchestra and the Australian Opera for her choreographies. She has a number of awards to her credit including the 2006 Helpman Award for Best Dance Work. The Australian Dance Awards in 2009 was given to Force Manjueri. The company converses about modern life by merging the boundaries of art forms and physical forms. It includes all professionals like actors, dancers, writers, artists, visual artists and filmmakers led by artistic director Daniel Mikic. Force Majuera puts forward serious dance theatre. The company 
is based around a combination of multidisciplinary personalities pining to generate motivating movement based theatre. Since its beginning, Force Majuer has created six major productions, two collaborative productions and a short film series. This highly produced body of work engages with and questions contemporary culture using intelligence, pathos, humor and insight. Presently, the artistic director is Kate Champion. The company has visited Lyon, BNL, the La Dance. Place this dance. Place the Arts Montreal. Dublin Theatre Festival, the Seoul Performing Arts Festival and has received five major national awards. There are several companies and several dancer choreographers now in Australia who are working for new directions and concepts of dance. Some of them are Christina Chan nominated for outstanding performance by a female dancer for her work in Tanja lead case construct. Then the other one is Reed Luplau. Is it, he is a new Australian choreographer and member of Sydney Dance Company who won outstanding performance by a male dancer. Dance is a project that Rosalind Crisp has been developing continuously since 2005 between Australia and France in collaboration with her company and other artists. The dance project deals with a volatile group of choreographic principles which guide the way movement is produced by the dancer. The practice is not about mesmerizing movements but rather about practicing ways of sourcing movement from any part of the body at any speed or level with any force or direction for any duration at any time. It is about the body dancing. Northern Territory Dance Group Tracks Dance Company received the outstanding achievement in youth or community dance at the 2009 OS Dance Awards run by artistic directors David McNeekin and Tim Newith in Darwin, Trax produces innovative large-scale outdoor performances that bring together participants from diverse cultures and artistic disciplines. Then there is Milpiri. This is a collaboration between the Walpiri people of Lajamanu in the northwest Tanami Desert and the Darwin based tracks, which has developed as a biennial event. Milpiri celebrates indigenous culture in a spectacular dance performance featuring over 300 performers. From break dancing to traditional dance forms, the dance of elders and youth came together. Milpiri's 2005 explored reconciliation and atonement. Milpiri 2007 celebrated the change between boy and manhood, mothers and sons, milk and meat. <laughs> Milpiri 2009 is all about law and order. So we see that the contributions of the dancers like Kate Champion, Rosalind Crisp, Russell Dumas, Lucy Guren, Sue Healy, Helen Herbertson, Gideon Obarzanek, Stephen Page, Gary Stewart, Meryl Tankard and Rose Verby are very important in the history of dance in Australia. The movements upheld by these contemporary dancers seem that it is accessible for beginners. Also these movements allow dancers to innovate body movements. Partnering with fellow dancers is another attempt to improvise using the natural movement of the body characterized by weight exchange, fluid movement and touch. Contemporary dance is illustrated by its flexibility. It can be danced to almost any mode of music or bonded with additional dance forms to generate fresh technique of movement. It can embrace site specific works, 
and the movements are often visually impressive. The dance deals with current contemporary cultural themes often in a global context and is deliberately open to audience reading and relations. It often orients other cultural forms especially with visual and contemporary arts, theatre, film, music and lighting. Contemporary dance has different meanings in different places. Different terms are used, modern dance, postmodern dance, new dance, experimental dance, dance improvisation and contact improvisation as well as other terms in different languages. It is not contemporary artists and companies working in the fields of classical ballet, modern dance, jazz dance, show dance or other forms of popular dance. Mm -hmm.